Good morning, everybody. Uh, Dejan Stojkovic here. And uh, once again, welcome. Today, we are in Cyprus. And this is Limassol. Uh, just behind me, uh, just there, you will see the, the meeting point. And the meeting point is um, our church and also a uh, place for many outreach programs, including one year in mission and service. And so if you uh, would ever like to join a one year in mission and service program, well, this can be uh, your placement. And uh, so I'm gonna uh, today have privilege to preach here and uh, get to know people. And then, um, you know, maybe we'll be able to get more information about the church in Cyprus itself. Uh, from uh, people who are well inside. So once again, uh, welcome uh, to Cyprus and welcome to Limassol Meeting Point. In case you don't know this good lady, this is Victoria. Victoria is a, a student uh, uh, from the one year mission service. Uh, Victoria is here serving, so how is it here uh, yeah, in a meeting point? It's a really, really nice, cozy environment, very home like, and getting to know and meet new people and from all over the world, really, people who come here to Cyprus. So it's a really nice, cozy environment. Let me ask you how big is this church and what's happening during the week? So um, in the church, we have about, um, about 20. 30 people, it varies from time to time, from Sabbath to Sabbath, it varies. Um, and during the week, we have different programs from um, from like a woman's Bible study to um, health and fitness. Um, we also have, um, yeah, we have Bible studies as well. And uh, we, yeah, we, we have different activities during the week uh, to try to get people involved. And we're hoping to add uh, to more activities as well with English classes and so on. So in case you're looking to come for the one year mission service, uh, uh, this is one of the places you can come and serve guys and uh, let me be honest after today's service uh, I, uh, I can move here easily <laughs> yeah, so yeah. so after the Beautiful service in Limassol. Uh, I finally meet with uh, Brian Slav, who is the president here in the in the Cyprus uh, uh, region. region. That's yes. right. And so, so we managed to arrive to the piece of land that belongs to our church. So, yes. I'm going to just ask Brian Slav to tell us a little bit more, few words, few words about okay. this. Yes. Uh, this is the plot of land that the church is trying to develop into a campsite. Yes. Uh, so that our young people, our children, our students, uh, pathfinders. Uh, the church members that we have across island can use for their various needs. Uh, it's uh, only about six, seven hundred meters from the Mediterranean Sea. Yes. And if you listen carefully, you can hear the sound of the waves. <laughs> uh, many years back, um, the church got some money, some donations, and uh, Brother Moses, who is still alive today, 97 years of age, wow. he bought this plot of land for the church. Yes. The pastor that was working at that time was planting the trees that you can see along this uh, border. And I was told that he was bringing water from Nicosia, which is about 40 or so kilometers. And he was watering those tender young trees. Now you can see they are mature trees. And apart from them, and I think they are about 140 or so, those evergreen trees, you only have a couple of uh, olive trees, uh, carob trees and so but there is nothing else on this plot of land. In the past, the church was trying to have a couple of uh, youth events. And uh, I was told that there was a youth event organized with the Israeli youth, Lebanese youth, and our youth here that we had in Cyprus. But all those events were of very short nature, maybe one uh, day or one weekend and so on, because simply there is nothing else on this field of land. For many years, uh, this uh, plot of land was attached uh, or connected with the building project in Nicosia. Yeah. So we couldn't actually 
move ahead with the project. The idea was to sell this land and other properties that we have so that we can build the uh, church in Nicosia. But for the last year or so, the division has given us a green light so that we can keep this for the church and develop this into a campsite. And so I would like to appeal to everyone and especially our youth department uh, in the division to uh, uh, there is a great potential. Yes. Uh, the architectural drawings are already done and uh, submitted to the municipality for approval. We believe that they will be approved soon. And once that is done, we can start with the building of the uh, uh, facility here that we have in mind and also fencing this whole property yes. to make it secure and more applicable for the use yes. of the church. So in case if you guys were planning to join us for this year 2022 for the mission project here in Cyprus, we were uh, simply opposed because of the process of application and developing the plans. So now that is in hands, we are hoping. We are hoping that it will, done, it will be done soon. soon. And then we are hoping to bring this back uh, as an offer for a uh, mission project for all of us for 2023. That's the plan. Uh, so we'll keep you posted on this and uh, I'm glad that we still have a land. That's right. And thank you so much to Brother and Moses. I, yes, yes, I want to thank everyone who is willing to come here and support us in any way. Excellent. So we look forward to uh, to share this story with you at the same time. We look forward to see you here with us in the 2023. So God bless you guys. God bless you all and welcome to Cyprus.